of the phone by help this.
Okay, my friends, uh, welcome to another English class. Uh, good evening. Uh, we today, well, tonight we're finishing the class number 15, unit 3. Estamos terminando la unidad 3. It means that we have just five more classes. Solo tenemos cinco clases más para terminar to finish uh, this program. And then we're going to have like a kind of review. Vamos a tener uh, parte de la revisión. Review of uh, unit three, especially simple past, especialmente el pasado simple. Okay. Esperamos un poco más a que se unen más eh, participantes. We're going to start in a minute. Okay, my friends, uh, good evening, everybody. And we're going to start the class number 15. Hopefully, afortunadamente, we're going to finish next uh, Tuesday. We hope so. Esperamos eso, ¿verdad? Terminar el siguiente martes. So, uh, we're going to finish unit number three tonight. Ahora terminamos la unidad número tres, okay? So, um... Let's see, how are you doing? Vamos a ver cómo están. Guillermo, how are you tonight, my friend? Everything in order? Yes, the chart, of course. Okay, I like to hear that. Okay, here we have uh, Noé from Guatemala. Yesterday you were traveling, right? Yeah, teacher, good night. Hello, everything okay? Yeah, everything was okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, that's perfect. Hey, what part of Guatemala did you travel? No, eh? the center, the capital? Or to the capital, work? yeah, to the capital. Okay, I know, yes, the, the, the trip is kind of long, poquito largo ese viaje, but... Yeah, yeah. it's almost stressful, but... Yeah, I can imagine, yeah. Yeah, it's tiring, <laughs> cansado, yeah. okay? But thank you for being here, my friend. i like to see you again. Okay, good. We're going to check here also, Katia. Good evening, Katia. Good evening, teacher. Everything okay? Yep. Much better than the last week. Okay, I like to hear that. Okay, so Thank welcome you. back to the others. Here we have Oscar, right? Um, so uh, also Daniel, maybe he's moving. And let me ask you something which celebrity do you admire do you most admire okay or do you have a favorite celebrity i mean celebrity as a famous person okay it uh, that famous person can be singer uh, actor actress can be a player from basketball soccer baseball it can be a politician, a president, uh, maybe a writer, un escritor, dancer. We have a lot of celebrities, okay? So I need you to have uh, to write one of the celebrities you admire the most, okay? 
Uh, you can mention the names. For example, I will say that I like, okay, what about? Maybe not admire as a person, but as an actor. Puedo admirar no como persona, pero sí como actor. In my case, Morgan Freeman is one of my favorite actors. So I can see different movies uh, in which he appears. If he is on any movie, the, that's like very sure that I'm going to watch it. So please type maybe a celebrity that you admire. It can be a soccer player, maybe from football, from soccer. Uh, it can be a singer. Okay. I have another celebrity. Let me see. Okay, another celebrity. It's uh, Steven Tyler. He is uh is the singer of Aerosmith, a really good singer. So type one celebrity. Maybe I'm not saying you are a big fan of him or her, but maybe a person that yeah you watch uh, his or her movie. You listen to his or her song. Uh, you watch maybe the the games. Yeah, why not? I have some other. Okay, Michael Jordan in my case, of course. So I want to know some names. Type them. Okay, let's listen to some of uh, your names. Uh, Rosalie says Shakira and BTS. Okay, I consider Shakira like one of the most or best uh, songwriters. Es una gran compositora. Yeah, it's a, it's a great composer. Aunque tiene canciones extrañas, but yeah. Believe it or not, I guess she can speak like three or four languages. She can speak like different languages, yes. Uh, Daniel Sadio, Sadio Mané. Mané is like a soccer player. Yeah. Yes, yeah. right? Yeah. It's from yeah. France. From no, France. It's Senegal. Ah, Senegal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And here we have Katia Leonardo DiCaprio. Good movies from Leonardo DiCaprio. I have like three or four movies that are like, yeah, top 10. And BTS, bueno, okay, yeah, BTS, that's another group, a uh, boy band that is having a big impact. Guillermo says Johnny Depp and LeBron James. Oh, good combination. Yeah, of course, Johnny Depp's movies. And LeBron James is a really good player. Good, good basketball player. Oscar says, 
Actors, yeah, Christian Bale, of course, good movies. Matthew McConaughey, yes, singer Silvio Rodriguez, of course, of course. Silvio Rodriguez is still alive, right? Todavía vive, ¿verdad? Yes, Silvio. yes. Okay, yeah, a lot of. Uh, one of the most representative of Nueva Trova, right? Silvio Rodriguez. Right. This says uh, Julia Roberts, good movies from Julia Roberts. Nice actress. Noé, Travis Pastrana and Akira Nakaisan. Travis Pastrana, who is, who, who's I? Maybe it sounds like familiar to me. Yes, Travis Pastrana was a good driver. In oh, US. really? Okay, yes. yes, I guess I guess I have an idea. And okay. Akira Nakaisan, it's a really good car racing builder. Oh, really? Interesting, yeah. interesting. Akira yeah. Nakaisan is from Japan. From Japan, yeah, I can imagine. Japan is like top in, yeah. in different aspects, in different disciplines. Yes. Japan is superior to, another, to some other countries. Okay, yeah, good. Of course. And here we have Admar Isaac Newton. Yes, John. Isaac Newton, one of the uh, best scientists that we have had in the last uh, century. Okay, thank you. So if you notice, you have like celebrities or favorite uh, personalities that they have impact in our lives or in the in the world. So I'm going to check the attendance list. Voy a revisar la lista de asistencia. And, but before that, antes de eso, um, remember this. Recuerden ese, lo del pasado simple, ¿verdad? Regular and irregular. ¿Ok? Nos vamos a enfocar en las preguntas, porque en las preguntas creo que tenemos un poco de dificultades. Ya voy a pasar lista. So, here we have I ate a dinner. This is a irregular verb. Tenemos el didn't y el verbo verb normal, right? Base form. Questions. Here we have did and the verb in the base form, forma base del verbo. Okay, did. Okay. Here we have this. Now, um, I'm going to show you this. Yesterday, we complete, completed this, okay? En esta le agregamos when, how, who, what, and why. No problem with this. But here we have this one, okay? In this case, uh, we have to add, le tenemos que agregar el did and the verb y el verbo, okay? So here we have what, when, how, why, okay? When, where, what time, how much, how many, okay? Very simple in this case. So I need you to help me. Completing this, okay? We're going to start maybe with Oscar. Could you help me, Oscar, please? Yes. Okay. The, the first is, what did you eat last Monday? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. What did you eat last Monday? Mm -hmm. Good one. Okay, we go with Guillermo, and then we go with uh, Daniel. Uh, when did you see that film? Mm -hmm. Yeah, easy peasy. Okay, uh, Daniel, and then uh, here we have Noe. How did they come to you here? Mm -hmm. Easy, yeah. Fácil, ¿verdad? Very, very simple like this. Okay, we go with Noé and then John. Why did he take my book? Okay. Uh, okay. Ah, pero comenzamos con he, ¿verdad? With, why did he? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes, that's it. Thank you. Pero ya saben que la estructura ahí está. Did take. Ok, John and Katia. Let me see number five. Why did you say that? Ok. Mm -hmm. Let's move with Katia and then Rosalie. 
When did they enter to turn the windows? True. True. Mm -hmm. Así se pronuncia, ve. True. True. Yeah, that's it. True. Yes. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, Rosalie, and then we go with Gustavo. Where did mm -hmm. they go on holiday last month? Where did Jane go? Yeah. That's totally correct. Where did Jane go on last? Uh, yes, on holiday last month. Okay, Gustavo and then David. Eh, hace un poquito me conecté, teacher. Este, no, no estoy muy, muy al tanto de lo que. Ok, eh, piensa, ya te voy a preguntar. Hay que agregarle okay. did, ¿verdad? Y lo, lo que está entre paréntesis, ¿ok? Eh, sí, David, sí. ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Listo? Very, very good, teacher. Perfect. I'll let you hear that. Eh, number eight. What mm -hmm. time did the train leave? Yeah, the train leave. Yeah. I guess you don't have any problem with this kind of questions. You already know the, ya saben, you know the key, ya saben la clave, okay? So maybe just to finish, and uh, here we have, let me see, maybe Oscar can help me with some other, and then we go with uh, with uh, Gustavo, okay, Oscar, please. Yes, and number nine, mm -hmm. how much did, this dress cost okay mm -hmm. that's correct gustavo now okay Great. okay mm -hmm. yeah. este, how, how many friends did he he meet yesterday yeah that's it yeah if you notice no problems 100 percent correct yeah you are now you are like very very aware of this so in this case let me see where do i have this okay i'm going to present new vocabulary for you to to practice and then uh, we're going to have, yes, John, any question or comment? Yes, I, yes, I have a question, teacher. Uh, okay, please. With, with the past symbol, uh, the complete, the complete structure is W equation, did, subject, perform normal, a uh, complement. It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. It, it, that's correct. For example, here, in this part, you can write what, okay, uh, where, when, and so on. Okay, this is, these are just examples, okay? WH questions, mm -hmm. cuando son la, 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 las preguntas con WH, ¿verdad? What, where, why, and then the, as you mentioned, the subject, mm -hmm, base form verb, or el verbo normal, normal verb, and the complement. So that's correct, as you mentioned, okay? Yes, and thank you. It's a pleasure. Daniel, any questions? Yeah, teacher. Please. Quería saber si no cambian los lo verbos. No, no. That's, uh, this is an, a characteristic. Uh, the only part where the verb changes is in the affirmative. La única parte donde cambia el verbo son las afirmativas. Aquí es el relajo. Okay. In the negatives, very easy because you have didn't. Como tienes el didn't, eso hace todo el trabajo. In, in, when you have questions, did is the one that uh, helps to make the question. Es el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Que te ayuda a hacer la pregunta. ¿Ok? Solo en las afirmativas vas a cambiar, ya sea con ed si es regular o cambias la, la escritura casi en su totalidad, en algunos casos, como son las irregulares. ¿Ok? So, that's it. Ok, guys, I'm going to check the attendance list. Here we have useful phrases. For free, gratis. For sale, en venta. For rent, en alquiler. 
for fun, eh, por diversión, for sure, in fact, in vain, in cash, in need, in short. Different phrases that are present in conversations, even in some series or movies, you can see when a, a house eh, has like a board, tiene como una billboard, tiene como un anuncio, for sale and vent. Okay, or for rent, for free, for sale, for rent, for fun, for sure, in fact, in vain, in cash, in need, in short. Okay, I'm going to call you one by one. And let's see, here we have, well, Adi, I don't know if she's available. Ana Cristina, I don't know. Elias, I don't know. Maybe not. Rivas, I don't know. Rivas is always connected. Mm. Claudia, I don't know. Daniel? Present. For free. Thank you. Perfect. David? Present teacher in okay. cash. Thank you. Alejandra, I don't know if. She's there. Evelyn. Maybe not. Eh, Graciela. Present. Okay, Graciela. Hello, tell me. Eh, for sure. Thank you. Eh, here we have Guillermo. Present teacher eh, for sale. Good. Jose Andres, I guess not here. John. I am here. Good evening, Perfect. everybody. Good evening, teacher. I like uh, for fun. Good one. Katia. Present uh, in cash. Good. Maritza. Are you there, right, Maritza? I saw you. Thank in you. Need. Good. Uh, Marvin, no. Noe. Hello, Noe. Hello, teacher. Present for rent. Good. Okay. Uh, Gustavo. Present teacher, in short. In short, good. And what about if we have Oscar? Present, in vain. In vain, thank you. Rosalie? Present, in fact. Okay. I don't know if Susie is there, I don't know. Teresa is like, uh, she's sick. No parece que está enferma, me dice Teresa. Okay, so, um, and let's see here. Okay, we move. Remember, I don't know if you have doubt. Tienen dudas con respecto a esto? Past, simple, irregular. If you have some other doubt, recuerden que en este caso podemos tener, we can have like different Forms, si es regular, ¿verdad? Acá. For example, is. Si aquí tenemos. Cold, sería así, ¿verdad? Cold. Pero acá sería normal. Cold. Cold. Como les digo, as I told you before, we have difficulties just in affirmatives. In negatives, it's easy and questions very simple. Okay, so we're going to have some practice. Vamos hasta tener algo de práctica acá. Mm, here we have 15 sentences. Tenemos estas oraciones. Look at number one. Mom washed up after lunch. Okay, number one. Okay. So here we have, like this. Aquí está la número uno, right? Yeah. Uh, mom washed up after lunch. The maid, tenemos it, the boys. So here we have one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, 15, right? 15 pictures and 15 sentences. I need you to change. Aquí está. Wash up. 
aquí está, pero en presente, así que vamos a pasarlo en pasado. Remember that you have all of these verbs, todos estos verbos ustedes ya los tienen en las listas de verbos que yo les he mandado en WhatsApp, ¿ok? So, if you look for them, all of them are in affirmative. Todas estas son afirmativas, ¿ok? And we're going to come back in a moment, ¿ok? Maybe I want you to have screenshot. Tal vez podemos tener una captura de pantalla de eso para comenzar a trabajar. Thank you very much, both. Gracias a ambos, okay? Eh, si tienen alguna duda, remember you have the list of verbs. Tienen lista de verbos, okay? Busquen la lista de verbos que yo les he dado. Ahí están las respuestas. Just give me a second. Okay, let's move here. Okay, see you in a moment, my friends. Let's see here. Okay. Teacher. Hola, hola, uh, permítame. Okay. I'm sorry, there was a, conf a confusion. Había una confusión. Permítame si lo quiero ver. Es que no hay demasiado unido. Eh, ahorita te voy a enviar a la, a la sala 4. Ok. Ok, ok. Thank you.
Okay, my dear friends, here we have like 14 sentences. Let's see uh, how can we complete. Vamos a ver cómo las podemos completar. So you tell me, Guillermo, you have some, some ones. Hello. Yes, teacher. Um, number two, the maid did the bed in the rooms. Okay. The maid did. Okay. Did that teacher? Okay. Okay. That's a good option. But we have some other that is. Let me check. Okay. Did. Yeah. It's similar. But let me tell you that in this case, could it be made? Made. made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It's kind of uh, like. Demonios. You think? Lo sabía. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, it happens. Made. Okay, uh, let's continue made. with okay. Noé, I guess. Have yes, yours? Teacher. Yes, number seven. Mm -hmm. The couple watched TV last night. The couple watch uh, yeah TV last night. Yeah, who else? Okay, maybe we can have John. Okay. An easy one. A ver, let me see. Let me see. Number four. Number uh, four. The boys um fought after mm -hmm. school. <laughs> yeah. That is kind of common here in Salvador. <laughs> yes. Yeah. They remember old times. Okay. Fought, fight. Thank you. Uh, we go with Rosalie and Daniel. Okay, Rosalie. Please. Mm -hmm. Number 12. Number 12. Yeah. Owen did the homework. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Did the homework and here we have two. Thank you. Uh, Daniel, what about you? Number 14. Jane Number. Dancing, dancing in the disco last weekend. Yeah. Good one. Dancer. Yes. Dance, dance, dance. Yeah, here we have this. Okay. David, please. Uh, Number nine. Number nine. Number ninety. Teacher, uh, dad read a fire tale to his children. Perfect pronunciation. Se escribe como read, verdad? But the pronunciation is read. Good for you because you remember. Uh, okay, let's move to who else? Maybe Oscar can help us, and then Katia. Yes, the number. Three, it number rained three. a lot yesterday. Okay, number three. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Here we have rain. Yes. Perfect. Katia? What number? Sorry, number six. Number six. Uh, David. A, mm -hmm. a slice of pizza. Slice, mm -hmm. a slice of pizza. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, the present is it. Okay, good. Uh, maybe we can have Maritza. Okay, Maritza, please. Number 15. Then Graciela. Okay, number 15. The couple sat on the bench in the park. Mm -hmm. That's good. That. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Graciela, are you okay to participate? Yes, teacher. Please. Number 10, they took a bath. Okay. Okay. Very nice, just that here is had. Bien, bien curioso, ¿verdad? It's had. Uh -huh. Aunque no, no, normalmente decimos take a shower. En este caso, sí. 
but have a bath is like more common, but thank you. Okay, maybe we can have a uh, Guillermo with some other. Could you help me please? And then mm -hmm. go with Oscar again. Yesterday. Okay, what number? 13. Okay. Fred has a cold yesterday. Yes. Thank you. Oscar, how about you? The five or eight? Uh, five. Okay. The fortune teller told me my future. Yes. That's okay. Okay, good. So here, here we have this. And finally, okay, it's uh, number eight. Es otro de los verbos que a nosotros nos parece interesante. Set. No cambio, okay? Him set the table. Thank you, my friends. Very good done. If you notice now, you are more familiar uh, with irregular verbs because most of them are irregulars, but we have some regulars, okay? Uh, tell me. If you could influence people like a celebrity does, how would you use it for the benefit of the planet? Okay. And so here we have like different options. Imagine you were like Shakira or I mean famous, not physically, but imagine you were like uh, Messi, Ronaldinho, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, like, uh, I don't know, some president. Imagine a good scientist, okay, like a singer, like Silvio, like, yeah, I don't know, some other like Bruno Mars. Um, how would you use it for the benefit <laughs> of the plan? Okay, maybe we can have some, uh, maybe we can start with John and then we go with Rosalind. Could you? Yeah, well, okay. Um, well, my my proposal would be to create mm -hmm. um, songs that talk about caring for the environment environment for for the future generation. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, so okay, good. So your uh, you could influence or uh, lyrics, okay, uh, with good thematic to take care of the of the environment, okay, the world, mm -hmm. like very positive, but to do something for future generations. I like it. Good, good idea, John. Okay, we go with Rosalie and then Katia. Okay, I would use it to clean up the beaches, mm -hmm. take a garbage bath, and not throw in it on the street. Okay. Adopt stray dogs and cats and donate to sterilization. Yeah. <laughs> relation. Oh, mm -hmm. campaigns. Okay, campaigns. Good. And you mentioned three things, right? Clean the the the, the oceans, the, the the beaches, uh to adopt. That's really nice because on street we have a, we can see a lot of dogs and cats. Okay, so there's no control of that, and yes, they're they're like babies. They don't know what to do, right? So maybe we can help with that. And also, yes, like programs or, yeah, to control the beard, okay? Sterilization of some animals. That could be really helpful. I like it, uh, Rosaline. What about Katia and Oscar? 
Okay, I will the I will tell my fans or followers mm -hmm. that whatever there is uh, events like my complete my birthday, sorry, mm -hmm. <laughs> and release of a new song or a new movie. Well, we'll celebrate with me be planning a tree. Oh, nice. Somewhere near their house in their house or some somewhere where they see it, it is necessary. Okay. I don't know. And what you are saying is that a trending trending on planting some trees right when some specific yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah specific celebration like release of a song or uh, your album or something like this like your birthday hey, come on let's plant some trees and that could be really helpful but the thing is the, <laughs> the influencers uh, does uh, well don't do that but it could be a good idea yeah i got it see sí, like up there Pero me gustó que dijo mis fans. My fans. Ah. Oh, wow. That's, I like that the attitude. Thank you. Oscar, please. And then Guillermo. Uh, if I could be an influenced people, maybe I will use it that by, uh, I don't know, maybe about the ideologies. Uh, maybe today is, is a, a question or uh of discussions mm -hmm. and i remember bueno uh, like silvio rodriguez in in his time the he fight about the release mm -hmm. but now does uh, uh como sería tipo ese tipo de pensamiento como sería como se Okay, like you're talking about uh, ideology or just ideology, talking about, yes. co okay? Okay, sí, conscious entonces, to yes. be aware, o ser como consciente, social conscious, okay? Social right. aware. About this social con conscient, yeah. uh, maybe this is one thing what I could be used. Oh, uh, yes. My benefit, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Man maintain uh, the, the really ideology of is the best for not the planet maybe the society yeah the society imagine silvio rodriguez has a lot of songs talking about the right human rights the, los derechos humanos or something yes. that you can ask for cosas que se pueden solicitar pedir eh, something that you deserve cosas que se merecen like uh, any human being the good to make conscious hacer conciencia people to be aware about what is going on, right? But right. real things, cosas reales, right? Real right. things, of course. Oh, thank you, Oscar. I like it. So, but sounds more intellectual, right? Thinking about those kind of music. But nowadays, it's like people uh, don't like too much to, to listen. Uh, no, only, uh, only reggaeton. <laughs> lyrics, see? Ya, yes. uh, letras más profundas is like not, not too much. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's most, but, most hard. Yeah, thank you, Oscar. Good point. I like it. Your idea, uh, Guillermo, and then we go with Maritza. Okay, teacher. Mm, well, I will try to reduce the environmental pollution mm -hmm. with a campaign to como hacer conciencia con la con los seres humanos. Teacher. Okay, yeah. Yo siento que las personas famosas tienden a tener un alcance muchísimo mayor, ¿verdad? Que, that's it. They have ejemplo, a big impact. A big uh -huh. impact in, in, in well, the world. In the world. So, it, as you say, if the influencers, uh, they, if they would like to change something, they could do it. Ellos lo podrían hacer. Or at least they could start changing some uh, ways of thinking ideas or patterns that, that that that's true so maybe for example the pollution if you notice now 
it is colder, it's más, está más caliente, the environment indeed, because of global warming, because of the, the trash in different parts, imagine the flows, imagínense las inundaciones, here in, in Salvador, wow. so well, thank you, good point, uh, Guillermo, nice point of view, Maritza, what about you? Do you have any idea? Take care of the planet for the benefit of all. Mm -hmm. uh, don't, don't leave the garbage anywhere. Yeah. That, take that, care that, that, of the river. Mm -hmm. And that's something that affects the environment. For example, garbage on rivers. If you notice the flows, uh, it is, mm, yeah, it is caused by the a lot of quantity of water, but also because there are a lot of trash that uh, they limit the pass of the water, the meter pass of the water. So, a lot of things to do. Thank you, my friends. We're going to continue later. And now let's see this. You remember that we started, I'm going to show you this. We studied this. Look. And here we have the, the last time uh, we have this. What do customers and companies representatives do? Okay, remember, pick up the phone, understand, explain, complain, help, request information, get prices, provides one information, assist, buy, call, receive. Okay, I need you to select one of these uh, functions that you have done, even as customer or as representative. Mencionen una de estas que ustedes han cumplido como cliente o como agente. Okay, what about you, Guillermo? Yeah, tell me. Mm, like a customer... I make a complaint. I call okay. to the call center. Okay. And like a company representative, I assist to the customer. Mm -hmm. And I provide one's information. I receive the complaint. <laughs> okay. You have been in both sides. <laughs> Complaining yes. and receiving the complaint. Okay, good point. Thank you. Okay, what about you, Oscar? Maybe as a customer or as a company's representative? Mention uh, one or two. Company's representative, I help, request information, uh, provides one information too, uh, call, assist, uh, this. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, what about John? In your case, as a customer or a company's representative? I think company representative, but number nine, assistant, help, um, request information, provide yeah. one's information. Okay, that's one of the most important, assist. Yeah, that's it, okay. So uh, in the case of you, John, or Guillermo, or Oscar, you have been customers and also companies representative. You know what the well, a customers want, right? So that is kind of easier, okay? Maritza, what about you? Maybe as a customer or as a company's representative? Customer. Mm -hmm. As a customer. Yes. Request mm -hmm. information, help get price prices and nice. buy <laughs> okay nice nice okay what we're going to do is uh, this look at this write adjectives to show a customer's satisfaction or dissatisfaction about the product adjectives como se siente how people feel satisfaction or dissatisfaction okay you can look for for those adjectives in internet pueden buscar algunos adjetivos si ustedes gustan o decirme les voy a dar un par de segundos i'm going to give you a couple of seconds so you can tell me 
um, from satisfaction or dissatisfaction. ¿Qué adjetivos hay? Ok, si ustedes consideran que son de satisfacción, Pueden escribir así. Satisfaction. Ok. Column. Happy. ¿Verdad? Entonces, satisfacción. Pongamos. O si quieren de dissatisfaction, elíjanme uno. Ok. No problem. Look for them. Ustedes, permítanme que quieras tenía como un mensaje directo. Ok. Could it be like this? Puede ser así. Ok. Satisfaction. Ok. Happy or oh, dissatisfaction, angry. Hay bastantes adjetivos. Look for them, okay? And then text on the chat. Lo escriben en el chat y voy a estar pendiente para escribirlos aquí. Okay, let's see what adjectives. Yes, good words. I guess you have good words in here. David, satisfaction, please. Okay, you have good words. Let's see first satisfaction. Okay. Please. Mm, attended. 
Uh -huh. Se dan cuenta que están en pasado, ¿verdad? Pleased, eso es pasado participio, porque son adjetivos. Eh, pleasure. Uh -huh. Inform. That's something so important. When you are informed of the product that you have, you are really happy. Okay, y es attention, que es atendido, eh, satisfaction, good, mm -hmm. gratified, no les escribo todo porque algunos son eh, sinónimos. Okay, let's go with eh, dissatisfaction, okay, dissatisfaction, bad, definitely, we have bad, ignored. How many of us have been ignored when asking for information on some products? Yeah, in my case, I, I feel really bad. Guilty. Mm -hmm. In the case when some people don't have, don't take good decisions, frustrated. Yeah. Frustrated. And that's another. Okay. Okay, and here we have all oh, well. Good options, okay? And here we have Bossy says uh, John, how could it be? way like this mm -hmm. okay uh, thank you for your adjectives uh, i have i consider you have selected good words okay so these are part of the some adjectives or words that refers to satisfaction or dissatisfaction when you are a customer okay especially when you are buying something that it is kind of expensive okay And now, ya estuvimos viendo eso, ¿verdad? Las funciones, ¿ok? We have the functions of a customer in a, a company's representative. Estuvimos hablando, even, uh, for example, Guillermo, Oscar, John, uh, who else? I guess Katia, I don't know. Uh, some of you, ah, Maritza, mentioned some of these uh, characteristics, right? So you tell me which one you consider uh, go there. ¿Cuáles consideran que van ahí? We have to write the missing letters. Tenemos que escribir las letras que hacen falta. Okay? You tell me. Okay. Three. Cool. Okay. Cool. Very nice. Uh, three, we have cool. Mm -hmm. Number, Number one, pick up the phone. Yeah, okay, here we have call. Yeah, pick up the phone. Number two, teacher. Okay. Number Tell two, me yours. Bye. Number two? Ah, bye, right? Bye. Mm-hmm. Number six, complain. Six, six, yeah. Bien la conoces, ¿verdad? You already, you know what you're talking about. Yeah. Este es el pan de cada día. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Number well, four. Number four. Get price. Okay. Get prices, yeah. Okay. 11 teacher. Ok, what is 11? Provide one's information. Ok, that's good. Just give me a second. Ok, provides one information. Just give me a second. Ok. 
Number 11, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, who else? Number five. Number five, what? Explain. Mm -hmm. Explain. Definitely, we hear how to explain. Any Number other? 10. Number 10. Understand. Yes. Understand. We're doing good. Okay. Ya que no falta poco. We have some other. Number Twelve. seven. Sorry. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Request information. Yes. Request information. Sorry. Okay, number seven, eight or nine. Number seven. Okay, okay. Uh, David and Katia. Well, maybe we, al mismo tiempo estaban en coro angelical. Maybe we can have Katia and then David. Okay, Katia. Number seven, help. Okay, como la canción de The Beatles, help. Number eight. Yes, eight. Ah, sí. Yes, yeah, so important. Assist, yes. Number nine, receive. Okay, here we have number nine. Mm -hmm. It is receive. receive. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, my friends. So these are some functions uh, of customers or companies representatives, right? Pick up the phone, buy, call, get prices, explain, complain, and help, assist, receive, understand, provide one's information, request information. Okay, let's go. Let's move. Here we have just 40 minutes, 40 minutes, y terminamos. Okay. So, in this case, uh, let me check this. Okay. We're going to have a conversation. Vamos a tener unas conversaciones. Tenemos rato de no hacerlas. Okay. Asking about where to get off. Preguntar. Como bajarse. O sea, imagine you are on the bus. Van en el bus. So here we have a letter A, letter B. It, it starts like this. Comienza así. Let me check. No. It is so small. Okay. This bus goes all the way to Santa Anita Mall, right? Yes. It will take us there. Are you positive? I always catch this bus. How long is this bus ride? It only takes half an hour. Where do we get off at? We can get off the bus right behind, behind Macy's. There's a stop right next to the mall. Yeah, it's right in the parking lot. That's cool. Yes, I know. Okay. And maybe we can have, let's uh, make emphasis. Okay, all. Mall, si se dan cuenta, todo lo que lleva a L se pronuncia con O. Por ejemplo, tall, ok. Por ejemplo, tall, old, mall, small. Se dan cuenta, todo es old, 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 ¿verdad? Tall, old, mall, small. Um, here we have some other words. Mm. Get off. Pueden decir get off o get off. Ok. Uh, right behind. 
I guess you don't have problems with this, okay? And let's move with the conversation number two. Here we have this. Does this bus really go to the mall? It goes all the way there. Are you sure? I know it does. I catch this bus a lot. How long does it take from the bus to get there? The bus ride is only 30 minutes or so. Where do we get off the bus? Right behind Macy's is a bus stop. The stop is really at the mall. It's in the middle of the parking lot. That's perfect. I know it is. Si se dan cuenta, utilizan bastante get off. Okay. I guess uh, we can have this practice. En la mayoría de palabras ustedes ya las conocen, pero es la mayoría. Okay. So uh, if you please, uh, we can have screenshots of uh, conversation number one and then conversation number two. Okay, Maritza, thank you. Here we have conversation one. And then let's move with conversation number two. Ah, yes, I'm teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Thank you, Maritza. Okay, I'm going to set in the in groups. Lo voy a poner en in equipos. Lo voy a agregar manualmente porque algunos que están de oyentes que no participan, entonces uh, es un poquito más complicado. No lo puedo poner tan al azar. Ok. Let's see. Okay, my friends, see you in a couple of minutes. Let's practice.
Okay, my friends, welcome back. Um, let's see who do we have here. Uh, here we have Guillermo, Daniel, John. Okay, John, who was your classmate, my friend? With Guillermo. Okay, Thanks. Guillermo, could you help me with conversation number one? John and Guillermo? Yes, teacher. Okay, who wants um, to be letter A and who letter B? Me, letter A. Okay. Uh, this bus goes all the way to Santa Anita Mall, right? Yes, it takes us there. Are you positive? I always catch this bus. How long is the bus ride? It only takes half an hour. Where do we get off at? We can get off the bus right behind Mercy's. There's a stop right next to the mall? Yeah, it's right in the parking lot. That's cool. Yes, I know. Very nice. Thank you. And let's listen now to Noé. Who was your, cl your, your classmate? Thank you, John and yeah. Guillermo. Very good pronunciation. No problem with that. Okay, Noé. What's that? Katia. Okay, Katia. Letter A or B? Conversation one, please. Okay. okay. Uh, this the bus goes all the way to Santa Anita Mall, right? Yeah, it takes us there. Are you positive? I always catch this bus. How long is this bus ride? It only takes half an hour. Where do you get out of that? We can get off the bus right behind Macy's. There's a stop right next to the mall. Yeah, it's right in the parking lot. That's cool. The, yes, I know. Very nice. Thank you. I like it. You're doing really good, my friends. Okay, Maritza, yes, please, you. conversation number two. Who was your partner? David. David, are you there, David? Conversation two. Uh, conversation two, okay, teacher. Okay, who starts? Uh, okay, does this bus really go to the mall? It goes all the way there. Are you sure? I know it does. No. Uh, I catch this bus a lot. How long does it take for the bus to get there? The bus ride is only 30 minutes or so. Where do we, where do we get of the, of the bus? Right behind Macy's is a bus stop. The stop is really at the mall. It is in the mid middle of the parking lot. That's perfect. I cannot it is. Thank you very much. Okay. And we finish with Rosalie. Conversation to who is your partner? My partner is yeah, Daniel. Qué bárbara, Rosalie, qué bárbara. <ríe> Daniel, que no tenía la cámara encendida. <ríe> ok, please. Conversation 2. Does this bus really go to the mall? Go to the mall? It, goes, it goes all the way there. Are you sure? I know it does. I got the bus a lot. How long does it take for the bus to get there? The bus ride only 30 minutes or, or so. Where to get off the bus? Right behind Macy's in the bus stop. The stop is really at the mall? It's in the middle of the parking lot. That's perfect. I know it's it. Thank you. 
Okay, so now we have just 20 minutes and we finish and we're going to have this question. If you could influence uh, people like a celebrity and I want to know some other points of view, maybe we can have a uh, Noe. And then we have okay. Daniel. Okay, Noe, tell me. In your case, if you could be like a famous person. Okay, if I were a celebrity, I would use my influence to help poor people to get food, to get a uh, home, to get the basic thing that they need to continue with her life, right? Okay, yeah, to survive, right? That there are a lot of yeah, kids sure. and, and poor people on the street, uh, yeah, uh, homeless. Thank you. So maybe you could help with that. We go with Daniel and then David. Okay, Daniel. Okay, um, if I could change the world, maybe I would support reforestation programs. Okay, okay, talking about uh, to save the planet by uh, planting more trees, right? Thank you. Uh, we go with uh, David, and then we go with Graciela if she's ready. Okay, teacher, in my case, I will I will give an example by recycling plastic such as bottles, bags, etc. It will also save resources such as water, electricity, etc. And I will also plan a tree from time to time. Okay, yes. Right. Recycling is so important. Nowadays, we have a lot of plastic. We have a, a lot of things that uh, maybe we just throw to the garbage and it is increasing the production of plastics things, right? Thank you. Uh, what about, I don't know, Graciela, if you are there? If not, we go with Gustavo. Yes, teacher. Please, Graciela. Uh, I would like to be able to help stray dogs and kittens be able to rescue them and give them a better life by being able to feed them to give them up for adoptions thank you yeah good point in this case uh, we have a lot of uh who was mentioning the who was i guess katia was mentioning about a dogs on the street maybe and some cats as well. So thank you. They need a lot of help. And we go now with Gustavo. And yeah. Okay, teacher. Uh, maybe he try to influence people to to re reforest the planet and reduce air pollution to be aware of how important important our planet is okay yeah always the topic of of pollution right so important so thank yes. you uh, okay thank you good uh, yeah good idea i like all your uh your ideas unfortunately maybe we don't have the power of moving people Okay, we we'll go with the listening part. Please, I need to be ready with your pen or pencil so you can write uh, whatever you can uh, listen or understand. I'm going to play it two times so we can have more time or more opportunity to write. In Tokyo today, the final qualification for tomorrow's Japanese Grand Prix took place in rainy conditions. Gerd Kruger, driving for Ferrari, finished the day in pole position and looks in a great position to consolidate his lead in the World Championship standings. The Jaguar driver, Eddie Cochrane, was the early leader in the qualifying sessions held in heavy rain and gusting winds, but Kruger showed his best form 
as the racetrack dried out a little later on. Okay, listen again. In Tokyo today, the final qualification for tomorrow's Japanese Grand Prix took place in rainy conditions. Gerd Kruger, driving for Ferrari, finished the day in pole position and looks in a great position to consolidate his lead in the World Championship standings. The Jaguar driver Eddie Cochrane was the early leader in the qualifying sessions held in heavy rain and gusting winds, but Kroger showed his best form as the racetrack dried out a little later on. Okay, um, I guess you have some ideas about this audio. We're going to start with Noé, and then we go with Oscar. Okay, Noé, I guess you got a lot of words, right? Related <laughs> to your just, area. Just, just two, two things. In Tokyo today, the final qualification is in Japanese. The girl crew were driving the Ferrari, and she showed her best front. And Eddie is the Jaguar driver. That's yeah, one. a lot of information. Yes, it's uh, like Grand Prix, right? Yes. Thank you. Uh, Oscar and then David. Uh, he says, so in Tokyo today, the final qualif qualification in Grand Prix is uh, the best. Uh, Greg Kruger, driver for Ferrari. He, he looks in a great position and the other... Uh, you don't know what is the name. He to take a great position. Kruger showed his best form. Uh, has his, I don't know what you say uh, at the end. Okay, thank you. Yeah, his best form as the racetrack. Good, Oscar. Good. Uh, you took a lot of notes. Okay, uh, David, you have some other? Yeah. Uh... The Kroger uh, was the leader in the qualify station. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's Kroger, it. He, uh, Kroger también, uh, Kroger too, uh, showed his best from a uh, race track drive. Uh -huh. uh, only. <laughs> yeah, that, that yes, he he showed his best form. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Um. Maybe. Well, I'm going to show this. Uh. Text. If you notice, yes, in Tokyo the final qualification. Yeah. Take a look at this. And get Gerd Kroger mm -hmm. driving for Ferrari, and here we have. The uh, great position, championship standing, the Jaguar driver, Eddie Cochrane, mm -hmm. was the other uh, driver, right? Leader qualifying, and that's it. Thank you. And let's move to two more activities, and we finish the class. Dos actividades más y terminamos la clase. Look at this. Transform the negative sentences into positive ones. If you notice, here we have uh, the auxiliary didn't. Tenemos el didn't. So uh, here we have verbs in base form. For, uh, verbos en su forma base. We have to change these. Here we have negatives. We have to change to positives. Tenemos que cambiarlas para uh, oraciones positivas. Okay. I'm going to give you some time. Le doy un par de segundos para que le haga una revisada. Ya lo comenzamos.
Okay, let's finish uh, this activity. Just this and one more activity and we say goodbye. Any ideas? Any volunteers? Uh, Guillermo, which yes. one? Number one. Mm -hmm. uh, she bought that computer. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Who else? John, I guess. Number three. The client. Yes. Okay, Noe, number three, and then we go with John. Okay. Okay, Noe, the client. The client called it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Called yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we go with John, and then maybe Katia. Number four, the employees read the mail. Okay. Well, the employees red mm -hmm. Red. thank you katia and then maritza um number two we brought brought them i don't know the pronunciation the we brought yeah we brought, brought uh brought that package okay maritza and oscar Number five, mm -hmm. our boss came back last week. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, Oscar and David. Number six, they canceled the meeting. Yes, canceled. Okay, David. Number seven, mm -hmm. the lady want to complain. complain. Want to complain. Ah, la, la señorita o la dama quería quejarse. Lady wanted to complain. Thank you. Okay, maybe we can finish this with Rosalie. Number eight. I sent their phone to, the, to this mail. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Well done. Okay, now let's move to the last activity and I'm going to check the attendance list. This last activity consists on next. Create information questions using the verb given. Then ask the questions and write the answer. So uh, remember that information questions are the ones that we have what, where, who, why, todas las que tenemos que son así, ¿verdad? Que tienen el por qué, cómo. Así que para estas vamos a utilizar cualquiera de estas palabras. Y me lo van a escribir, por ejemplo, what, where, when, who, why, how. At least two questions, al menos dos preguntas, hagan. Utilizando esto, ustedes eligen cuál. Ok, ustedes eligen cuál quieran. What, where, when, who, why, how. Y aquí tenemos do, go, buy, work, uh, read, see, y me las escriben en el chat. Dos, solo dos hagan, please. Por ejemplo. Why did you mm -hmm, read that book? Mm -hmm. That's one example. Pueden elegir do, go, buy, work, read, see.
Okay, let's listen to some of the questions you have. Uh, Oscar, could you read yours, please? And then we go with David. Okay, the first, when did you buy this card? Hmm? And uh, number two, where did he begin to work in this place? Yeah, very nice. Yeah, I like it. Uh, David and then Guillermo. Okay, David. Sorry, teacher, estaba hablando yo solo. No tenía uh, para el micrófono. Con conciencia estaba hablando. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Go ahead. Este, number one, uh, when did you read the book? Hmm? Uh, number two, uh, solo una había hecho, pero voy a hacer la otra ahorita. Uh, where did where did buy the car? Thank you. Okay, we continue with Guillermo and then Rosalie. Okay, where do you work? Mm -hmm. And the yeah. other in... Oh, okay, no, tú me equivoqué, perdón. No okay. problem. No había visto el... que eran dos con el mismo verbo. No, it, can, it puse... can be a different verb. No problem. Ah, okay. Where did you travel in your vacation? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's it. And Rosalie, please. And number one, what mm -hmm. did you what did you do the last weekend? And Thank number you. two, where where did bo boot the bag? Where did you buy? Mm -hmm. Where did you buy? Thank you. Ok, ya esa cuestión, Noé, ya te quedaste, ¿verdad? Con, con la sesión de 10 minutos, ¿verdad, Noé? Sí, recuerdo que sí. No, yo no, yo no. No, entonces te quedas ahora, please. Ok. Ok, please. And the rest, eh, I'm going to check the attendance list, please. And after this, we say goodbye. Recuerden terminar la unidad 3, porque mañana paso notas, ¿ok? Some of you eh, have finished and you have good grades. Algunos ya terminaron con buenas notas. Y si pueden avanzar con la unidad 4, sería bueno. El otro martes estamos finalizando. Ok, eh, okay let's listen here. We go with, I don't know, Adi, Ana Cristina, Elías, Rivas, Claudia, Daniel. David. Present teacher, sorry. Thank you. No problem. Eh, Present okay. teacher. Nice. Uh, Alejandra, no. Evelyn, no. Graciela, yes, right. Guillermo. Present, John. Okay. Uh, Jose Andres, no. John. I am here. Hey, good night. See you tomorrow, everybody. Hi, my friend. See you tomorrow. Katia. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night, Maritza. Present, good night. Good night, uh, we go with Noe. Present teacher. Gustavo, thank you. Present Oscar. teacher, good night. Good night. Uh, thank you, Rosalie. And Present, good night. Okay. okay, have a good night, my friends. Solo me quedo con Noe. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye, good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Okay, uh, no, uh, this time is okay, kind of short, okay? okay. And so uh, let tell me, do you want to talk about many, well, maybe one specific grammar structure that maybe it is difficult for you, any topic, or do you want me to uh, make you an interview? Depends on you. What In would my you like? Case for me, my problem is the germs. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jerons. Uh, what about the simple class? No problem with you. Uh, regular, irregular verbs. Ed. Mm, I think no. Okay. The difficult could be um memorize that a lot of verbs, but that's all. okay. That's it. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jerons are commonly used with ing. For example. Yeah. 
um, visiting uh -huh. que es el visitar el verbo es visit okay. ok so in this case you have to take into account there are some key words hay verbos okay. que son claves por ejemplo like love hate enjoy um, let's see like love hate enjoy and there are like after these verbs que normalmente después de estos verbos se utiliza déjame ver que tengo tengo una imagen con respecto a esto ok I guess I have here Okay, I guess I I don't know where is it. No sé dónde está realmente. La voy a buscar okay. esa imagen. Pero igual, el punto es el siguiente. Hay verbos que son como bastante clave para utilizar gerunds. Ah, no. Okay. Aquí lo encontré. So, uh, here we have... Ok, aquí podemos utilizar el infinitivo, ¿verdad? Eh, o el, ver, el verbo ing. Cuando tenemos el infinitivo es cuando utilizamos el to. Entonces, uh -huh. por ejemplo, I like to. Y el otro está I like sleeping. Entonces, aquí tenemos, we sometimes use like plus infinitive to talk about habits or choices. Quiere decir que utilizamos el to, ¿verdad? Más el verbo para hábitos o elecciones, like plus verb ing, que es el gerundio, it's more common to say you like doing something in general, cuando se hace algo en general. Vamos a ver, ¿puedes leérmela estas dos? I like to eat. I like to eat chocolate for breakfast. I okay. like eating chocolate. Okay. So in this case, here we have two options. And maybe you can think that it is the same, but no. Because the first one, it's an habit. It's my habit. But I like eating chocolate. It is doing this in general. Lo hacemos okay. como en general. Now, after these verbs, we use a verb ing. Siempre de estos, o sea, podemos utilizar I like to eat chocolate. Pero lo más común, and something that is very common, is that we use these verbs. And after this, we use gerunds. Después de estos, utilizamos los que son los gerundios, al menos en este caso, ok. Siendo así, tenemos algunas opciones, por ejemplo, eh, aquí tenemos, aquí están estos, que es love, enjoy, don't like, hate. También en lugar del don't like, puede ser el like, obviamente. Mm -hmm. Tenemos la primera, please read, eh, number one, I love reading. I love reading in the bed, no, in bed at night. I enjoy. I enjoy playing video games. I don't like getting getting up early. I hate washing the dishes. Okay. Ahora dime tú un par de oraciones utilizando cualquiera. De eso pueden ser eh, hábitos. 
Okay. Work o rutinas. Play. Team. Cook. Clean. These are examples, but you can use some other verbs if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. My, for example, I like to use my scanner for work. Okay. I like to use your scanner. That's an habit. Eso es un hábito. Mm -hmm. Something that you do. Okay. Uh, you can use also, I enjoy working mm -hmm. at night. Okay. Okay. I enjoy working in the mornings. Okay. Or you can say, I don't like cleaning the house. Or I hate cooking uh, cooking chicken, cooking whatever, ¿ok? Ok. Como no me gusta cocinar. Pero en este caso, eh, como está utilizando con el ING, puede ser, es algo que es general o un hábito. Pero como te repito, puedes utilizarle el I like to, I love to, I enjoy to, o con el ING. En este caso, okay. pues podemos utilizarlo, ¿verdad? Con el infinitivo. Si quieres, puedes tomar captura de esto. Creo que, que okay. te puede, puede ser bastante útil. Sí, la verdad, sí. Ok, la otra manera donde eh, normalmente se utiliza el gerunds es cuando te quieres referir a una actividad y la vas a describir. Por ejemplo, working. So, working late, it's something negative, y comienzas. Entonces estás diciendo que trabajar tarde, working late is something negative because uh, you, are, you are tired next day, bla, bla, bla. Okay. Puede ser, por ejemplo, okay. fixing cars. Is one of my favorite jobs because, y comienzas. Entonces, estás diciendo que esta es una actividad. Mm -hmm. Fixing cars. Okay. No estás diciendo que está reparando carro. No estás diciendo que lo vas a hacer o lo hiciste. Simplemente es una actividad. Fixing cars is one of my favorite jobs. Y das una razón. Entonces, los gerundios se pueden utilizar normalmente para eso. Ok. Para expresar un hábito, para expresar una rutina o algo general. O cuando vas a describir algo, vas a describir una actividad, ¿verdad? Pero este ING no es el mismo del presente continuo. Porque uh -huh. el presente continuo es, I am working in the afternoon. No, uh, in this moment. Alguien te dice, te están llamando. I am working in this moment. Estoy trabajando mm -hmm. en este momento. En cambio, en este caso, ya no es un gerundio en sí porque estás utilizando el presente continuo. Estás mm -hmm. hablando de algo que está sucediendo en este momento. Por la los estructura de la oración. De... Sí, exacto. Mm -hmm. Se trata de los gerundios de cambiar del verbo a un sustantivo. Okay. Ya no es una acción, sino que es una actividad. ¿Qué haces? Ok. Así que eso sería quizás, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Ok. Sí, sí, es que en esa parte me confundí un poco con el present continuo y el germs. Ajá, Pero el present continuo. Con esa explicación creo que ya. Sí, el present continuo siempre tiene el verbo to be. Entonces, cuando veas un verbo to be, ah, es present continuo. ¿Verdad? El otro mm. es, uh, I'm going to visit my uncle. Ok. Entonces, en este caso, el going to es otro que tiene ING, pero es para un futuro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Mira, siempre tiene el am, o sea que uh -huh. ya es una estructura uh -huh. gramática. Sí. Okay. Así que eso sería, no es, sé que te está eh, tocando un poquito pesado por los horarios y todo eso, pero ya estamos por sí, terminar. Sí. Ok. Ok. Ya estamos en lo último, así que ánimo, tu inglés es bastante bueno. Espero que, que continúes, si no es en este módulo que, que viene, otro más adelante, porque sí, eh, considero que tienes muy buen inglés. ¿no? Ok, gracias. Sí, de hecho me mandaron eh, para poderme inscribir en el otro. En el otro, para darle continuidad. Sí, yo, yo honestamente creo que sí tienes la habilidad, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Y okay. siento que estás avanzando bastante, fluidez tenés. Vocabulario siempre uno tiene que aprender más. 
igual que palabras, verbos, pero, y algo que también tenés es que seguridad, no te da pena hablar, eso es una gran cosa. Eh, no, al principio sí, pero ahora ya no. Sí, claro, ya pasaste esa barrera, hay mucha gente que está así todavía y por eso a veces le cuesta más tímido. Así que eso sería, ¿no? Espero haberte ayudado, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, sí, thank Serías. you. See you tomorrow, my friend. Ok, ya casi Ok, terminamos see el you. módulo. Have Ok, a good thank night. you. Have a good night. Welcome.